Hi everybody, this is English 104 and I am your professor, Professor Rex. Um, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about myself, give you guys a really brief introduction and then we can kind of jump into um, what the class is going to be about, what you guys can expect from me, what you guys can expect for the next five weeks, um, so on and so forth. So my real name is Sarah Gonzalez um, hyphen D Judson. I just got married just over a year ago um, to my husband who his name is Tracy. We have um, a family of animals. We have no kids yet, so we have two dogs. One is Goose, one is Whiskey, and we have two cats, cats, sorry cats, <laughs> two cats, um, Jameson and Rummy. Um, I would show you guys them, but unfortunately this little like camera setup I have right now is a little, little janky, so I don't really trust it to move around a little bit, but um, that's our little family. Um, a little bit about myself. I have been teaching English for now over five years. I originally started at Los Angeles Trade Tech College um, and then I was hired at Santa Monica College and now I am at all three schools with Glendale um, being the third school that I have uh, worked at. Um, I love the school. I wish that we were in person but I am grateful for the opportunities and the resources that we have online right now to make um, our classes as successful and accessible as possible uh, given the current circumstances. Um, so I've taught uh, different, a bunch of different types of English courses already. Um, English 101, English 104, English 2, English 1 plus 28, um, so on and so forth. There's obviously different um, names for different classes at different schools. Um, so I have taught a pretty much a wide range of composition, reading, and literature courses at this point. Um, this is my first time teaching English 104 at Glendale. I'm very excited for it because um, I have revamped kind of what I would normally assign for an English 104 class to make it a little bit more current, make it a little bit more fun, um, and really design this course to fit in a five week period instead of really trying to smash in, you know, three and a half months worth of work into five weeks. I really wanted to make this a digestible, fun, um, and intriguing class so that you guys will become involved with the actual subject matter um, and really, really want to expl express your own thoughts and opinions um, on the material. So um, you will learn as we go along that my classes are, are not very conventional. Um, I do not do the whole memorize something and repeat it to me. Um, instead, I ask for my students to become pers um, persons who contribute to the conversation. Um, so much of this class will be you guys speaking with me, speaking with maybe other students through discussion boards, um, and just really expressing your thought and, and um, making it very apparent that you have developed critical thinking skills as well as writing skills. Um, in my classes, I don't believe that writing skills come without critical thinking skills and vice versa. Um, so much of the course is obviously designed for us to have a conversation with each other. Um, conversations along with written pieces show me that you are actually studying and retaining the information presented in the material, but more than that, that you are actually contributing to the conversation um, and really caring about it. So you will see that uh, with the assignments coming forward, um, that a lot of them, again, are supposed to be engaging for you and very current for the times that we are living in and very current for our age groups. Um, as you guys can probably tell, I am not too far off from most of my students' ages. Um, I am a 30-year-old professor. Um, I, again, have been teaching for over five years, so I have very much um, versed myself in different uh, forms of pedagogy. So um, what works for me doesn't necessarily work for every other professor, but in my class, again, we will do a lot of collaborative learning, um, a lot of conversation, and less of memorize this, take this test. Um, so yeah, you guys will see that I have sprinkled some quizzes throughout the course. Um, not really, I'm not a really quiz exam person. I am a conversation and um, written assessment type professor. Um, so without further ado, I am going to um, tell you guys a little bit more about the course, um, read to you guys our fancy little syllabus here, and then go over some other important notes that you um, should keep in mind throughout the course. Um, <clears throat> let me grab my pen cap that I just dropped. Um, all right, so let's move into it. Okay, so this is English 104, um, critical thinking and argument. Those will be our main focuses for this five week course. Uh, this is section 1100 and this is obviously winter 2021. Um, <clears throat> classroom meeting time. So obviously since we're not actually meeting in the classroom, um, our class will go on from January 4th to February 5th 
for our layout for the class for the the design of my course um, all assignments all modules I should say will open to you the Friday before um, the actual work week starts so it'll open on Friday and then your assignments will be due the following Friday um, this gives me the weekend to grade before I would have students submit their assignments on like a Sunday night or a Monday morning um, this ended up being causing me to grade papers a little too late for students to really um, understand my notes and feedback so I wanted to give uh, students more than enough time to understand my feedback before they have to go move into the next group of assignments um, so again with that being said you uh, all of your assignments will do be due on Friday nights unless for some weird reason I change a date office hours now my office hours will be um, office hours will be on Mondays from noon to 1 p.m. and that will be scheduled via zoom um, so I will send you guys the zoom information and then if you would like to join in on an office hour um, you will just sign in and join the conversation if that hour does not work for you I'm more than willing to um, make a different time for you you just have to message me via canvas let me know what time or day works best for you and then we'll, we'll coordinate a day and time um, so we can meet and I can help you out with whatever you need um, so the course description I'm not gonna bother you with all like reading the syllabus because you guys will obviously be able to read that um, but reading material so this is something that a lot of students worry about uh, going into uh, different semesters is the cost of books I have designed this course to be a zero cost textbook course uh, meaning you guys will not have to purchase anything from the bookstore you guys won't have to purchase anything online um, and nothing that you guys are required to read will need to be purchased um, I will will be giving providing all of the reading material um, so the articles and whatnot if they need to be purchased I will purchase them and then I will share them with you guys um, if they don't need to be purchased obviously I'll just give you guys a link or I'll just upload the document and you guys will have that so do not have to worry about purchasing anything for this course um, I've designed it to be 100% free if you want to buy your own notebook buy your own material specific for this course that is 100% up to you but it is not a requirement um, I remember being in school and hating that I had to spend money on books and materials that I would maybe read once or twice um, or ask my parents to do so so I wanted to make sure that this was as friendly and accessible for all of us as possible all right, so you guys will see the first module is already open. Um, your articles on there are already live. I will always provide the reading material for that week in the module that the assignments are going to coordinate with. Okay, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, a big thing here, I'm not gonna read you every detail from our nifty syllabus, but um, one thing I do wanna know is I do not accept late work. Do not accept late work. So if you are going to be late with an assignment, don't please don't message me and ask me if you can turn it in late because blah, 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 blah. Um, I need enough time to grade students. And in the past, I used to let students submit papers as long, um, basically the entire semester as late as they want. Uh, but that uh, posed a lot of problems for other students. I would be too busy grading students who had submitted late work that I wasn't actually spending enough time grading the students who were submitting their work on time for the current assignments. So with that being said, absolutely no late work is accepted. If you have some kind of illness in the family, death in the family, that's obviously different, um, but you will need to um, submit some kind of medical documentation to prove um, that that is actually what has happened. So um, if you have something that you need to turn in late and it was due to an emergency, that's fine, but please do not email me unless you already have that document with you. Okay, um, but, 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 attendance policies. So obviously this is an online course. You are required to complete the assignments on your own. That is how I gauge attendance. Um, the main one that you absolutely need to submit so you are not dropped from the course the first week is the mandatory check-in assignment, which is literally titled the mandatory check-in assignment under your assignments um, and also in module one. So please make sure that you do submit that. If you do not, I will drop you from the course to make room for other students who are maybe trying to add the course. Classroom discipline, just be nice, be friendly. Um, I don't want you to think that you have to agree with everybody because that's not how I design my courses. I like there to be um, debate and, and healthy debate, healthy argument, um, healthy conversation. Um, but with that being said, we need to have a profound respect for one another in this course for it to flow the way I want it to the way we should want it to um, academic honesty don't play dry don't even try it I will catch you I will fail you just don't just don't do it um, 
Students with disabilities uh, policy. Disabilities are not a reflection of who you are, but of how your brain works. Maybe eventually we won't even call them disabilities anymore. Understanding how you learn is the first step to success. With all that said, all students with disabilities requiring accommodations are responsible for making arrangements in a timely manner through the Center for Students with Disabilities. And then on the syllabus, you will actually see the link to that page um, and that'll provide you with any resources that you might need for this course. Um, grading. Grading is really simple in this class. You have the ability to earn a total of 250 points throughout the course. Now the way I have designed it is that each week is worth 50 points. Um, I may change up the last two weeks and instead of doing 50 and 50, I might do 0 and 200 just to make room for um, that final paper, but I haven't quite decided yet on that. So um, basically all you have to worry about is 250 points is what you have the ability of achieving. Now that's not to say that you are going to achieve all 250 points, I really hope that you guys all do, but the points will determine your grade. So I have outlined again on the syllabus, 250 to 225 points will earn you an A in the class, 224 points to 200 points will earn you a B in the class, 175 to 199 points will earn you a C in the class, and then anything below 174 points or 174 points will earn you a failing grade in the course, so do not even get near that number, okay? Um, students will always ask me, so I'm just gonna say it now, are you gonna give extra credit? I give extra credit when I think extra credit um, should be given. So if I see the class is working really hard, the majority of you guys are turning things in on time, I will provide you guys with an extra credit opportunity, but I will not provide an extra credit opportunity if the class is not um, working really hard for their normal grades so okay so i'm not responsible for making you pass the class i'm also not responsible for making you fail the class um what i always tell my students is it's very very difficult to fail my classes i make this class as fun as possible every class as fun as possible and as much of a conversation as i can so you don't feel like you're just going into a typical course where i have to do this and then do this and then do this and then do this i want you guys to be excited about the material i want you guys to really um uh, converse with the material. I want you guys to really get into it and I want your writing assignments to show me that you actually care about these topics. Um, now obviously it's still going to be a class. I still have to grade you on grammar and punctuation and spelling and all of that but more than anything I really want you guys to just engage with the material. That's really 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 what I want and, I, and really what I think is missing from a lot of English courses these days. Um, so without further ado I welcome you to my course. I'm excited to get to know you guys. Um, I hope that a lot of you guys will join in on our Zoom meetings or at least maybe schedule some other kind of Zoom meeting with me because I would really love to get to know you guys and I know that that's a lot more difficult now that we don't have um, in-person classes. So um, if you guys have any questions, the best way to reach me is through Canvas. Um, a lot of students will email me through the Glendale email. There's a floaty. Um, through the Glendale email, but that's not usually the best way to get a hold of me just because that inbox gets so cluttered. Um, so if you need to get a hold of me, please message me via Canvas. I will be checking my messages every day and responding to you hopefully within 24 hours over the weekends might be a little bit different. All right. So if you guys need anything from me, anything from me, um, please send me a message um, and let me know. And um, yeah, I look forward to reading your guys' assignment submissions and really getting to know you guys on a more personal level. So I will talk to you guys soon and I will see you guys next week. Bye.